All right, welcome back. We got a rocket launch to watch. SpaceX sending some Starlink satellites into the sky. We're hearing their control center pipe in. Falcon 9 is in startup. I'm going to do my best not to talk over them, but they do pipe in every once in a while. I imagine they'll start talking a little more often as soon as this thing actually lifts off. LDs go for launch. Two minutes, 30 seconds. Two minutes, 15 seconds. Two minutes, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ignition, and lift off. Go Falcon, go Starlink. Vehicles pitching downrange. Stage one propulsion is nominal. This launch was scrubbed. Power and telemetry nominal. During the uh, wee hours of the morning, now officially. Vehicles supersonic. It's taking place from Florida's Kennedy Space Center. Max Q. Lifted off from pad 39A, one of several launch pads at the Space Center. 24 Starlink internet satellites being launched into low Earth orbit. If any Florida residents are tuning in right now, Florida Today says that no sonic booms should occur from this liftoff. Florida Today says tonight's mission marks the Falcon 9. In back to. This is the Falcon 9 first stage booster's 15th flight, according to SpaceX. Now. This is one of those rockets, and if you're a regular viewer of live now, you know that approximately eight minutes after liftoff, the booster will come back down to ground. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. The booster will land itself Impact ignition. on a drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. It's expected eight minutes and 14 seconds after liftoff, so we're still about five and a half minutes away from that. Fairing separation confirmed. I believe this launch had a 24-hour launch window. It was slated to happen earlier in the day, but it was scrubbed. Now officially launching off from Florida's Space Coast. That's 
the eastern coast of the Florida Peninsula, not too far away from Orlando, just a little bit south of Daytona Beach. What's happening here is the Falcon 9 is deploying 24 Starlink internet satellites into low Earth orbit. This is something we've seen so many times in recent months on live now. In fact, there are so many Starlink satellites out there that some people call them Starlink constellations because they can see them. And one of the cooler parts about watching these launches, aside from the liftoff itself, is, as I've mentioned, the first stage booster of the rocket. That means one of the boosters will return itself down to Earth. And that's expected to happen about 8 minutes and 14 seconds after liftoff. So just over 3 minutes from now, we expect that... And usually they have a camera planted. I'm speaking from experience here. I've watched a number of these. Usually they have a camera planted on the booster. It's, it's quite incredible to watch, actually. And that camera will stream this thing as it gently lifts it or gently lowers itself back down onto a launch pad in the Atlantic Ocean. This feed being brought to us courtesy of SpaceX itself. Stage one entry burn startup. Stage one, entry burn shut down. Stage one, FTS is saved. In about a minute and a half, I anticipate we'll see this booster return back to Earth. Stage two FTS is saved. When you hear them say stage one, that's what they're referring to as the first stage booster that's coming back down. Stage one transonic. So that booster expected to launch 8 minutes and 14 seconds after liftoff. Let's see how close it gets. Stage 1 landing burn. Landing on the nose there. 14 seconds. 8 minutes and 14 seconds is what they say. Stage 2 terminal that guidance. It's the booster on your left that you're watching land right now. Stage 1 landing leg deploy. Yeah, and it actually, it looked like the feed dropped there. Stage one landing confirmed. Uh, it looks like, uh, and here at Live Now, we're, we're still feeding this through, but we just uh, work with what we can from SpaceX. It looked like it was landing right on the nose, eight minutes and 14 seconds after liftoff. And then it looked like both of those feeds cut out, cut off right as it was landing. Nonetheless, uh, another Starlink, another batch of Starlink satellites being lifted into the sky from Florida's Kennedy Space Center. 24 Starlink Impact, shut down. satellites 
as they shut this thing down. 24 Starlink satellites going into orbit.